Okay, I figure I should explain to people what happened regarding why I'm not actually out there like what Johnson is. First of all, I'm not independently wealthy, okay? No. So, I've been going on a shoestring budget. And yes, I do work on people. But I fix them, work myself out of the job, and don't make the kind of money that uh, chiropractors and charlatans do to keep them coming back for a temporary fix. Anyway, got sued for practicing chiropractic without a license in 2004. 2008, I kicked their ass. Kicked their ass. And then, of course, the local newspaper refuses to print the news. Nonetheless, this woman from Oklahoma City finds me, and uh, I guess I end up going down to Oklahoma City. I worked on her, and she had connections with, I think it was the Oklahoma School of Natural Arts, Natural Healing Arts, I think that's what it's called now. I remember it as Acupuncture College of America. Anyway, I worked on the owners of the clinic as well. Miracle cases, success story, oh my god. All three of them, bang, bang, bang. And uh, they're like, oh my god. You know, they found me and they, you know, were impressed. They figured that, you know, it was the best thing for their patients. They brought me in. I came in once a week for about three months and uh, working on their patients. I told them coming in the door, I said, you're going to have to think outside the box. I said, if I find what I think I'm going to, I said, I'm fixing to fix your clientele. I'm going to fix the problem. And I don't think they actually believed that it was possible, actually, even though they actually experienced the miracle for themselves already. They knew what I could do. I don't think they figured that the statistical success rate would be as high as it was, though. Anyway, what happens is, is that I uh, fixed their clientele, took care of the patients. They didn't hurt anymore. They didn't need their repeat business and their, you know, Cash flow fell off significantly. Ultimately, what happens is, is that they're telling me they can't afford to have me there, that they depended on the repeat business, and they, you know, needed it to survive, but they wanted me to take care of them. I'm like, it's too much, let me work on the doctors, and the doctors blocking the research from their patients. So I told them, no, couldn't do that. I said, if your patients are going to hurt because you need them to because you, you can't survive without their monies you know because they're hurting then you're going to have to hurt along with them it's the world we live in so uh, Oklahoma, Enid, Oklahoma in particular has got a gem that they still don't know what it is they've got because the regular press you know is a propaganda machine as we all know and refused to let the news out. I went to Kansas shortly after the lawsuit. Same thing happened up there. I paired up with a massage therapist for a short period of time and same thing happened. Couldn't afford to have me there. Doing it again, thinking that it'll go somewhere and before we even take off, yes, she wants me to take care of her, but apparently she can't afford to have me working on her subjects either. So that's what it is. Folks, you're going to have to find me on your own. And if you do, then you will motivate everybody else to come in line. But not until. There's too many practitioners, massage therapists, chiropractors, physical therapists, doctors of all types, you know, osteopaths, that are depending on you to hurt. And here I am, prepared and willing and able to get you out of it. So you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to open your mind. You're going to have to open your eyes. And you're going to have to figure it out on your own. Don't trust any doctor to tell you what you need to know. Not even massage therapists at this point in time. No. But I can tell you I've worked on a lot of them. I sure have. <laughs>